and welcome to the session. Today, we will be continuing with essential English grammar. And the format of this class is going to be more or less the same that we have been following thus far. We will start with participle today. We have uh, seen uh, simple present tense. We have seen present continuous. We have seen simple past. We have seen past continuous. We have seen simple future and future continuous. We haven't touched the perfect tense thus far because perfect tenses often confuse people. We'll talk about all that. But before we talk about the perfect tenses, it is a good idea to try and understand what is participle because we'll be referring to this expression time and again when we discuss the perfect tenses, right? When we do the uh, simple perfect, simple perfect continuous, for example, uh, past perfect, past perfect continuous, and the future perfect, and the future perfect continuous. Well, nomenclatures are not important. You know, I'm not even suggesting that these nomenclatures are to be remembered by you. Because when we talk, the talking has to happen in a spontaneous way. You don't have to remember any of the stuff, the ones who are following me on YouTube, and of course, the live participants. Talking about live participants, we have very few today, but let's say hello to them. So what is going to be the format of the class? First, we will discuss participle. Thereafter, we will be listening to two of our illustrious participants demonstrating spontaneous speech. But before everything else, well, the ritual of hellos. Let's say hello to our learned participants. Here we go. Okay. Good evening, Lekha. Good evening, sir. How are you? Oh, terrific. Absolutely flamboyant. Great, handsome, handsomest rather, the wisest. Okay, the winner of every battle, the most learned soul, should I say that? Okay, okay, fine. The most learned soul on earth and the happiest soul on earth. And that's what makes me say with confidence. There's another thing that I missed out. The one with the best test of friends, the best test of friends in the world, <laughs> like yourself and Manisha and Seema and others who have been joined us today. Okay, so... With that force, with that power behind me, I can say with confidence that I have never been better before. What about you, my dear? How are you, Lekha? I'm also good and I'm the best. I'm the most beautiful girl. And why just also? And uh, mm, I'm trying to become a kind person by uh, seeing you, uh, like uh, by making you an example. And... Uh, I am also blessed with the best friends, the bestest friend of the world because uh, whenever I'm uh, feeling stuck, then uh, you are uh, saying like uh, I should ask for help to you. So um, that makes me uh, feel uh, a little better, not better, that makes me feel best and that, make, that makes me say that I have never been better before. <laughs> how sweet, how wonderful. That's musical. Okay. Thank you so much for finding time out, Lekha, and joining us. Hope that this session turns out to be an enriching session for you, as well as for everybody else. Thank you for joining again. So we move on. Thank you, sir. Thank you, dear. For teaching us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good evening, Manisha. Good evening, sir. How are you? Terrific. Absolutely on the top of the world. I have become the master of every dimension. I am all ready to unleash my creative juices and write the best of books. I am at my literary best. I am at my creative best. I am at my analytical best, powered by friends such as yourself. I can say with confidence that I am the happiest man on earth and I have never been better before. What about you, Manisha? How are you? Sir, I'm also great. 
and today i also uh, today uh, i can say that i am beautiful because today i got so many compliments in office <laughs> that ma'am today you are looking pretty today you are looking pretty so i can admit that that okay i am beautiful <laughs> and i am in the process of learning so many things so i'm happy that i'm doing what i have always wanted to do and uh, Yes, today I was a bit disappointed because it, uh, we had a plan uh, from office that we would we would go to resident house, but unfortunately it could not happen. Uh, so, but right now I'm happy that. Uh, but Manisha, you are muted. Call from my father. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, so, Manisha, go ahead. Uh, uh so uh, but right now i'm happy and after listening you leka and seema uh, because in between we talk to each other and uh, uh, i got to know that leka will be in our group so i'm really very happy <laughs> because you know mm -hmm. i i really admire her and i admire her straight forwardness and uh, seema's intellect so i'm happy that i'm in company of good people good friends so yes i can say that i've never been better before Wonderful! That's great. And why did you ever have doubts about you being beautiful? You are so pretty, nice. right? <laughs> and the thing is, it's good to know that you are going to have a common coterie. And it, in fact, that's the right thing to do because very few are left now. As you, as we knew right at the outset, that it's not. It's difficult to persevere. Those who have persevered thus far must have a coterie group of their own and start practicing. Right. So from tomorrow. Uh, start working in the new group, each one of you. Now, I don't have to make the make the coterie because there's a single coterie left for all practical reasons. So we'll go on with what we have. Okay, thank you so much, Manisha, for finding time out. And um, uh, you are absolutely a great a student to work with. I must tell you this, that right from the beginning, it has been a true pleasure working with you because the kind of devotion that I've seen in you, the kind of uh, labor that you put into your work, the sincerity that you exude um, are all very rare. And the, and the fact that you have persevered thus far is indicative of what you are going to do in the future. The future is absolutely bright. It's very bright. You're really going to achieve a lot in life. Lots of things in life. There are a lot of praises, a lot of awards waiting for you. Okay. So you, you will accomplish all that. Um, in your lifetime and you'll be rich and famous okay 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 and of course you'll be a great orator goes without saying okay thank you so much <laughs> thank you so much sir thank you so much thank you seema good evening good evening sir how are you sir absolutely fine uh, any problems with your camera can you appear on the camera or actually uh... sir, there is some darkness because i am downstairs Okay, no problem. Oh. No problem. No problem. Mm, that's you right. cannot appear on the camera. No problem. I completely understand. So, um, how are you? You didn't answer. <laughs> yeah, I am great, sir. When okay. I am in the class, when I am able to attend this class, then really uh, it's uh, it's uh, give me sense of uh, kind of uh, accomplishment that I am doing something uh, great, and I am uh, I am in process of. In a uh, betterment of myself, so it uh, it gives me pleasure and it makes me feel uh, great and wonderful. That's why I can say that I have never been better before. Great, you didn't ask me, but I'm telling you, I'm yes, glorious and glorious. <laughs> <laughs> you were about I, to sir, ask I me. Have okay. A... okay. <laughs> yes, I have already asked you, sir. All right, so I'm glorious and victorious and shining with. Uh, the spirit of success and that's what and of course powered by friends like yourself manisha lekha nitesh and others who have, enjo who have joined us today for some reason or the other uh, i really feel blessed and that that's what makes me say with confidence that i've never been better before with that said thank you so much seema for finding time out now we start out with a session uh, we have a brief presentation on participle and thereafter we will be uh, having two demonstrations of spontaneous speech right here we go okay so what are participles what is a participle that's what we will try and find out first here we go so participles in english grammar in english grammar participles are versatile verb forms used to build verb tenses and add detail to sentences.
there are two main types of participles, present participles and past participles. Very confusing definition. Very confusing definition. Probably you are not making sense of it. To tell you the truth, although I'm the one who has uh, been responsible for this presentation, even I am not very comfortable with this definition because it doesn't make things clear. It clearly means it's a form of verb. That's it. What is participle? It's a form of verb. It's a kind of verb. It's a dynamic verb. They call it dynamic because it kind of shows action. That is why they're calling it dynamic. So that's just about it. But every verb says, uh, does action. Every uh, verb depicts action, you might say. But this shows dynamic action. Let's put it that way. So it's a dynamic or versatile verb form. Versatile because it can fit into many different kinds of sentences. Okay? With that said, let's move ahead. Don't bother too much about the definition. Here we go. So there are two kinds of participles, present participles and past participles. First, we'll be discussing present participle. The present participle is formed by adding ing to the base form of a verb. It is used to describe ongoing actions or actions in progress. Examples, running is a good exercise. The howling wind was unsettling. Look at these verb forms, running and howling. There is ing, right? ing in the end, ing over here also. So their present participle uh, they're present participle because they're showing continuous action, ongoing action, the action that is happening. That is what makes it a present participle. And what is a past participle? The past participle is often formed by adding ed, d, or en, excuse me, or adding en or other irregular forms to the base verb. It is used to express completed actions or actions that have already happened. So present part participle tells you the running act, tells you about the running action, tells you what is happening, and past participle tells you what has already happened. As simple as that, there is nothing more to it. You usually get present participle by adding ing, or you the verbs that end with ing are to be referred to as, more often than not, referred to as present participles, and those verbs which end with d, or ed, or en, will be called past participles. What is the purpose of present participle? To show ongoing action. What is the purpose of past participle? To show completed action. That's it. Nothing more than that. Let's see the examples. The cake is baked and ready to eat. She had written a beautiful poem. Baked. E-D in the end. E-D in the end. Written. E-N in the end. And both these verbs are telling us that the action has been completed. That is all about participles, nothing more than that, okay? So present participles in action, we'll see some uses of present participles. Nothing to be worried about, very simple stuff. So present participles are commonly used in the following ways. Well, you don't have to remember any of this stuff. Even I don't remember. When I'm teaching, I teach, but I don't have to keep them in mind. Please do not worry about keeping them in your mind. You don't have to do that. So present participles are commonly used in the following ways. Continuous actions to describe actions that are ongoing in progress. We just saw the examples a while back. He is studying for his exam. The children were playing in the park. And they can be used in adjectives. Present participles can function as adjectives to describe things or situations. The exciting movie kept us on the edge of our seats. The barking dog woke up the entire neighborhood. Exciting, ing ending. Barking, ing ending. So these are present participles showing what? Essentially showing continuous actions. Continuous action. Action that is still on. All right. Past participles in action. Past participles find their use in the following context. Perfect tenses. Of course, we haven't begun perfect tenses thus far. I did give you a very brief background though, when we started out with tenses, but we'll be doing perfect tenses in detail from the next class. So here it is just an example, so don't worry too much about it, even if you don't understand. To indicate completed actions or actions that have already happened. She has finished her project. She has finished her project is an example of a simple perfect tense, whereby uh, we are try just trying to suggest that some action has been completed in the past, but that action has relevance in the present moment. I repeat, some action has been completed in the past, but that action has relevance in the present moment. That is why it is simple perfect. They had eaten dinner before the movie. This is an example of uh, past participle, right? 
here what what are we trying to say here what we are trying to say is uh, that before the movie started it's when we when we when we use past participle we usually or past perfect tense sorry it's past perfect tense when we use past perfect we try to suggest the two actions that happened in the past two events that happened in the past of those two events one of the events happened before or completed before the second event that is all we want to say in past perfect tense here one event is having of dinner and the second event is the starting of the movie so they had eaten dinner before the movie means the the action of eating the dinner got over before the movie as simple as that two past actions by with past perfect you just you just try to explain which action got completed first so that is past participle for you adjectives also well actually you know the the first two examples and the last two examples are more or less the same i'm showing uh, past participles in action but to tell you the truth these are words what are participles here past participles these are words that end with ed or simply d or en and they help us form perfect tenses if you allow me to say that well we'll be doing perfect tenses from tomorrow not now so just understand roughly what i'm telling you adjectives past participles can also act as adjectives to describe something or someone the broken window needs to be fixed up the written report was impressive right so these are examples of past participles verbs that end with d ed en usually there can be other examples also other irregular endings can also be there and what are present participles those with usually those with usual ing and those which usually end with ing ing endings that is right okay practice time i'll be i'll be doing the practice today you don't have to have my life participants will not be doing the part, uh, practice i'll be doing the practice now let's practice fill in the blanks with the correct present or past participle she is dash a beautiful song the hint word is sing she is dash a beautiful song i need a participle over here is a present or past participle what appears appropriate over here is a present participle that's why we say she is singing a beautiful song ing ending in the end that is why it is a present participle the dash paint house looks stunning the dash house looks stunning paint is the hint word the painted house looks stunning that's what appears to be logical to me painted ed ending they had dash around the world the hint word is travel they had traveled around the world ed ending again past participle the dash news made everyone happy the hint word is excite the exciting news made everyone happy ing ending another example of present participle okay the solutions are out here and here we have the conclusion participles play a crucial role in english grammar helping us express ongoing actions and completed events i've already explained this by mastering the use of present and past participles you will enhance the ability to describe actions and situations with accuracy and detail in english all right lekha can i have you on the screen please lekha say something say hello to me hello sir right lekha read this out wow no matter what practice 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 and practice a spontaneous speech shadowing and court talk will make you a great speaker wow that's it that's it thank you so much here we go back to our gallery view okay without further ado manisha be ready for the first topic today your time starts right away okay just a second let me adjust the time okay right regardless of whether this topic applies to you or not just imagine and say certain things okay i'm sure you will do a good job your topic for the day is waiting for a train at the railway station waiting for a train at the railway station waiting for a train at the railway station shoot manisha thank you sir 
thank you so much sir for this topic and the topic for today's spontaneous speeches waiting for a train at the railway station and i was thanking you because i am a person who wants to travel in rail but unfortunately i i sat in rail when i was only 6 after that i did not get this chance uh, to to sit in rail and i really want that if ever our if our bharat darshan it happens ever then i want to travel in rail and in railway you know i find railway stations very happening because they are uh, the main thing that i like uh, that it is full of people and it is full of emotions you see people who are returning to their home uh, in that particular uh, village or station then they, uh, they are very happy but there are people who leave who leave their village who leave their home then they are very sad so it is a mixture of emotions and i like that place very much in that sense and uh, when uh, when i was at a railway station i was waiting for a train so it happens that there is so much chaos but still if you are a person uh, that who loves i actually no one loves chaos in their life but if you are a person uh, who loves to see exciting things then that is a place for you because there you will find so many hawkers and uh, you will find book stalls you will find different kind of stalls on railway station and the food they serve is amazing until and unless you are you are a picky person that i will eat from this five star hotel only then that that can be a trouble for you but otherwise they offer amazing food and um, uh, when i still remember that when i uh, went to when i went to uh, vishnu devi through train when i was uh, when i was in 6th class then uh, i had jalebis and honestly these uh, those jalebis uh, till date are one of the finest jalebis that i've ever had <laughs> so i love new delhi railway station for that and uh, yes uh, in this i have to make a story so yes i i am at a railway station and i'm waiting for my train and i'm planning to go to i'm planning to go to vishnu devi because i know that route so i will be choosing that only and uh, in railway station uh, my train is late uh, from its time uh, so i am i'm also not too happy uh, because of that but yes when i saw so many people are there and who are waiting for their loved ones and some are there to drop Uh, some are there to drop some people and some are there to receive some people uh, so that is very good and i could see i can see so many people uh, with different kinds of emotions and uh, and suddenly i saw and suddenly i'm seeing that a tt is uh, tt is coming and he is checking everyone's ticket so i am lucky that i have ticket and i do not do illegal things so i have my ticket and i'm ready with everything but uh, but i'm i'm observing that there is a boy who is without ticket so he is traveling without ticket and that's why tt is charging him some fine so he is like so he is like you know as as leka said yesterday or yesterday sir yesterday uh, that uh, that sardar ji uh, took 300 rupees for that tuk tuk so that person is saying same thing that uh, had i taken ticket <laughs> that will be just 300 and now i am paying 1000 rupees for this so this is actually funny and i am feeling pity for the for the uh, boy who did not um, take ticket in advance but that is fine we know that uh, uh, this is a festival time so uh, arranging tickets and in short time is not so is not so easy task uh, but uh, i love and uh, there are so many trains in india and uh, uh, i am traveling in vande bharat so it is considered one of the finest trains and one of the most advanced trains in india and it has so many facilities and uh, the best thing that i like about railway travel is that every time i go to railway my mother uh, my mother gives me some food so that i can i can eat it in uh, while i can eat it while traveling because you know she does not have trust <laughs> what is served outside <laughs> she also every time like this is not just for railway this is for every time whenever i whenever i go outside she says that don't eat anything from outside uh, eat what i am giving you she still treats me like a child and i'm really happy with that experience <laughs> i do not ever want to be grown up in her eyes and uh, so i have my food but honestly this time i want to try i want to try the food which is served by railway uh, because i have um, i have heard that they they offer good food and i'm real and i'm you know i'm i'm foody i'm glutton you can say i know that does not look like but i am a glutton <laughs> i eat so much 
and actually i'm more into quant- uh, quality not in quantity in terms of food so i eat that and the, sorry for <laughs> diverging from my topic uh, so yes uh, in railway station in railway station uh, there are so many people so i was observing that how do they behave right uh, because if you if you stay in home uh, then you then you are just around some four or five kind of five people that who stays with you your parents your family but when you go outside and uh, that too at a diverse place like railway station uh, you get to know so many people then you get to know human human behavior that uh, how like that how just at uh, one particular situation how can different persons react so you can learn it from that place um, in railway station and uh, i was uh, and and i saw th- and i see that there is a book stall in front of me and uh, i i also heard this from my friend that uh, in railway station you find books at very cheap price so here i find it that there is the lottery kind of thing for me so i'm buying lot of books for my uh, for my traveling time because you know i am a person who does not uh, interact with people too much so for me books are my good friend and i'm planning to buy three or four books so that uh, so that i can travel peacefully and you know without talking to people so much because this is also uh, told by my mother that do not talk to strangers so much uh, you don't know that how that who how is that to one particular person can be for you so stay aware and uh, so yes and uh, in railway stations the main thing that i like because i travel in metro your, daily metro your time has come to an end manisha i would we would all like to listen to your <laughs> your speech uh, endlessly but then we have to stop you here because the 6 minute period is over in fact the 6 period period 6 minute period is well over and mm-hmm. as usual great speech you know you just flowed like a like a river you have a question go ahead manisha it's a question i had uh, sorry it's but not a question i just wanted to add one more thing uh, because mm-hmm. you know i travel in delhi metro so i really like that sound that doors will be open on left hand <laughs> side to try to maintain some distance okay and okay. i <laughs> and as a uh, as i was on railway stations so i'm hearing the same sound that try to maintain some distance so i was just adding this thing <laughs> <laughs> wonderful wonderful great uh Thanks. great performance before your uh, uh friends comment on your performance i would like to clarify one small thing that has been raised by a question that has been asked by seema seema says sir kindly clear the difference kindly clarify the difference between present continuous and present participle well yes seema certainly here we go so let's see what is the difference between present participle and present continuous okay your present participle and present continuous that is the confusion now please understand appreciate this when we say present continuous this is what this is a tense right tense means a reference to time as to what's happening a reference to action a reference to action with regard to time whichever way you want to put it we are talking about the present time and we are also talking about the action that is happening at this moment so present continuous is a tense and when we say present participle when we say present participle it is what it is not a tense it is a verb form it is just a verb form of course present participle is being used in present continuous tense so if i use this word say let me use the name of manisha say the word reading reading is what is it is a verb it is a present it is present participle reading simply reading a word in isolation it is present participle but when manisha is reading a book manisha is reading a book this means what that manisha is doing something at the moment manisha is in the act of reading a book and that action is continuous so we will not call this entire arrangement of words as present participle this entire arrangement of words will be referred to as present continuous tense that is the difference okay 
So let's get back to the gallery view and uh, let me have a word with Seema. Seema, have I been able to uh, clarify your doubt? Okay. Yes, okay. Sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, okay, you're most welcome. So Seema says, okay, sir. Now I got it. Okay. So our next participant today will be will be Seema you, right? Seema? So gear up yes, for the sir. gear up for the speech. But uh, you can't appear on the camera, I believe, right? So if you since you cannot <laughs> appear on the camera, we will yes, uh, since you are in the dark, you said, uh, we will be keeping this view on this, this view only when you are speaking. Yes, yes. Right. Oh okay. no issue, sir. Yeah, right. Hmm. So your topic is right. Listen yes, to it. Sir. I am giving some weird topics these days, and I'm sure all of you can handle such topics. Not a weird topic, but somewhat off the beat. Or somewhat off beat, sorry. So the topic is watching a movie on the big screen in a theater. Watching a movie on the big screen at a theater. Watching a movie on the big screen at a theater. Go ahead, shoot. Uh, okay. Good evening, all of you. And uh, today I have I have given topic watching movie on a big theater. Uh, in, in actually uh, my real life I am not very fond of uh, seeing watching movie on theaters and even at home. But still uh, I I try to continue it on that thing and. Uh, but uh, in memories, I had that kind of experience when I uh, when I saw or watch uh, watch movie on a big theater. Then it was uh, uh, for me it was okay okay experience, uh, not so exciting for me. But uh, actually, I'm uh, I'm not feeling so comfortable at uh, that place. Uh, because of uh, uh, because of uh, i think the kind of gathering over there or uh, or the kind of environment over there so uh, i i don't uh, like so much but uh, uh, yes if uh, i uh, if i uh, i have i have uh, i have, uh, I have uh, given chance to uh, to watch a, watch a, uh, watch some a uh, sensible movie on that then i really appreciate it like uh, in past i have seen uh, the three idiot movie on the theater and uh, it was really very uh, an interesting event for me and uh, it uh, really teaches so many things uh, and uh, in in a very uh, lighter mood and we can say uh, 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 watching movie on a big theater uh, it it uh, it gives you a kind of real experience of the things like uh, the 3d movies we can see and uh, uh, like uh, uh, we can uh, we can feel or we can experience like one to one interaction with with the screen and it uh, it doesn't uh, happen on the tv or on a small tv but uh, uh, at uh, on a big uh, big screen uh, it gives you the chance that uh, you can uh, 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 you can experience uh, things in a larger frame so uh, for that reason i can appreciate that uh, the theater and uh, uh, nothing striking me nothing striking me and uh, on uh, on a big theater uh, we can we uh, we can see so uh, so many uh, uh different kind of movies and on a theater hall uh, we can see the kind of uh, um, kind of gatherings people are uh, enjoying their foods uh, after uh, after the movie and uh, and discuss uh, and discuss about the movie how it was and uh, people uh, uh, the, actually it's a place of meeting as well many people uh, or group of people like uh, movie, uh, watching movie, and they meet uh, over there and enjoying that time. And many, uh, many friends uh, 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 can enjoy there who wants to 
who wants to like movie and uh, nothing striking me sir nothing striking me nothing striking me uh, but if i want to uh, say that uh, 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 if i have given chance uh, to see good movies then uh, there is uh, 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 there is no matter for me that it could uh, uh, whether i can, uh, whether i can able to see on big big screen or a or a home t uh, home tv uh, i think there is no difference for me so uh, i can enjoy uh, uh, the stuff of movie at my home as well and uh, i really like the uh, the kind of web web series who gave some uh, social message to our society and uh, and and uh, in uh, somewhat way uh, they can educate us about the things and 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 uh, in covid times we uh, uh, we all family members saw many web series on the uh, on our home tv and uh, i i uh, i am digressing from my topic sorry for that but uh, i am not able to continue on that sir sorry and uh, nothing striking me nothing striking me nothing striking me uh in this regard i can also uh, like to say that uh, uh, the film producers or directors can make movies on good topics and uh, uh some uh which uh, which uh, which really can give uh, give some uh, fruitful message to our society or for the nation because it uh, when people uh, uh, go there they uh, the, the big screen has uh, its uh, has its own uh, uh, i can say a great impact on that because we when we see things uh, directly it uh, the images um, uh, the images creates uh, in uh, are creating in our mind so it uh, it it, uh, it can become a really a very uh, rich source uh, which can which can benefit to our uh, society or the upliftment of our society so it's uh, it's a kind of suggestion and uh, nothing striking me nothing striking me nothing striking me nothing striking me Okay, see your time. Why sorry? Yes, sir. Your time just got over <laughs> because of a little bit of rustiness that probably has crept in because uh, you have not been practicing. But doesn't matter. You still did a fairly decent job. In fact, I'm not unhappy at all because you, uh, of course, got stuck up at points, but then you pulled yourself back and you spoke well. And uh, more than um, close to ninety five percent of uh, your speech was there. Five percent probably missed out, and you said nothing is striking me. That was because uh, there's, I mean, you have a, a, a definite slag, definite lag in practice. You, I'm sure, you haven't been practicing spontaneous speech for a long time, so that is why this happened. Doesn't matter. You still did a decent job. You did a very good job. So nothing to worry. Let's see what the friends are saying. We have very few friends today over here. What are they saying for Manisha's speech and for Seema's speech? Here we go. All right. So, my team says for uh, Manisha's speech, effortless and content-rich performance, Manisha. Your flawless performance showed your candid thoughts. Completely agree with my team. Very well done, Manisha. No doubt. Lekha says it was very interest. It was a very interesting story, Manisha. You are also a very good orator. You made us engaged in listening to you. You made a good story. One thing I feel like is that you spoke for more than six minutes as per my calculations and, and a beautiful smiley. Of course she did, but she didn't speak on speak for more than six minutes on her own. I, I made her speak for more than six minutes, right? I always do. So that is, if you think that is a problem, that's a problem with me, not with her. She spoke for as long as I wanted her to. And she did a 
very good job very good job okay now my team says for uh, seema's performance nice performance seema today i feel that you are not in your full form keep on practicing you will be a great orator well i have no doubts about uh, your becoming a great orator seema but i also agree with my team but uh, to a certain uh, point i believe i would certainly not consider this performance of yours as uh, um, as a performance that is not satisfactory i would say it's more than satisfactory much much better than what i expect usually um of my participants there are so many of them who uh, i'm not talking about this batch alone there's so many of them who don't perform well and still they think that they have done so well you did pretty well although by your standards it might not have been so good but your standards are quite high that is why probably you are not satisfied but i can tell you it's a decent job well done all right now oh why do you write so sorry sir and all why are you why are you saying that seema you did a good job you greatly approached your speech manisha uh, even i also like the train travel story wonderful job you did claps and then uh, thumbs up for you and a lot of love from seema uh, for manisha lekha writes for seema it was a good speech seema because we have not been practicing regularly that's why you got stuck in between but it's okay it will get cured in just one or two days regular practice all over a very good performance so lekha couldn't have uh, voiced the truth any better that is the truth seema it's only lack of practice nothing else you did a great job i tell you you did a great job and seema says yes i commit that i confess that i have not been practicing well yes indeed you have not been practicing i know and that is why i call this a very good performance manisha says nice performance seema seema lots of claps for you your your teacher spirit your teaching spirit is visible in your speeches in this also in this also you raised a good point that cinema can be a good source of spreading knowledge between masses um it's always a treat to hear your views and learning from them and two beautiful smileys for you then thank you she continues to write she says thank you so much everyone for your wonderful compliments right manisha thanks others for the compliments and now me my team says sometimes it happens seema you know small things happen in the big world and three beautiful smileys i'm completely agree with my team um, but i to tell you the truth i see nothing um, too wrong or too bad about seema speech i found it completely acceptable very much acceptable a good speech i would say a pretty good speech lekha uh, rai yes seema sorry sir sorry sir for interrupting mm -hmm. but i would like to say why it is happened uh, uh, definitely it's a lack of practice but mm -hmm. uh, uh, for uh, for me like if you, the topic i am not so uh, well versed with it then it's difficult to me explain it so uh, it it also a cause for that i think i understand seema but That's you have I'm to not... be completely agree with yes. me but you have to be versatile enough to be handling any topic even if i give you yes, a topic uh, say something like uh, the machu picchu you should be able to speak on that if you don't <laughs> understand nothing about machu picchu i could give you something like having dinner with um, a hollywood celebrity yesterday okay you have you have not taken dinner with a celebrity hollywood celebrity yesterday but you can still you should still be able to make the speech um moving through the horsehead nebula you possibly cannot move through the horsehead nebula but still you have to give us a speech so you should be versatile enough to handle any topic which you want yes sir it's a, it's a lacking no sir i am not so versatile no. and, and i admit it sir because seriously sir okay. because i am not able to continue on the, uh, that kind of uh, uh, weird topics like if i am not matlab uh, <laughs> if i am not understanding or i, I if i have not uh, so uh, so much content about it na then i am not able to explain it and it's a lacking point of me i know well see uh, i i am i am very glad that you recognize your weaknesses but do understand that these weak weaknesses can be eliminated with regular practice you practice regularly and these weaknesses will be gone i promise okay all right okay, and lekha writes you, again uh, okay lekha writes something like uh, no sir that's not a problem for more than 6 minutes okay it's about the 6 minute thing no sir that's not a problem for more than 6 minutes generally you keep a timer that's why i was just thinking why the alarm has not vibrated well sometimes you know i play the trick lekha you have actually caught me red handed okay all right seema says thanks a lot sir 
and my very dear friends. Absolutely, three three namaskar icons, and uh, it has been a great class. Although we have uh, had a, a very small gathering today, but we definitely had a great class, right? So, with those words, I will uh, end the session today, and we will meet again on Monday. There are two days holidays, but you will be getting exercises for both the days. And do keep practicing. And of course, do practice Kotri Talk as well. With that said, thank you very much for joining. Take care and good night.